everyone, Diane here. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. I just wanted to show you my two latest uh, journals. Uh, these are very, very old books that I found. Um, they just were such interesting covers that I thought that I could uh, make a journal from each of them. Um, not put as many embellishments and leave that up to whoever uh, wants to use it, uh, purchase it. Um, I, I really loved the old, old covers. Um, some of them have some war wearing, um, to them and, um, others are in great shape, but, um, these, I just like the character of them. So I didn't want to do much of anything to the covers themselves. Um, but as you can see, um, this particular one is, is in a gold tone, and I'll show you why. Um, that'll be the first one I'll show you. And it comes with this bag. Um, hopefully I can get it out of the bag. <laughs> okay. There we go. Um, a Will in the Way. Uh, I just thought it was a great, um, a great title. It had a beautiful co cover. As you can see, it has some, some metallic um, to the cover. Uh, the back of it was a little worn, so I just covered it with lace and a few pearls. Um, and that, in the, in the back, is embossed here. Um, it shows some worn um, areas, but um, I think it's pretty much in great, great shape. Um, just did a, a little bit of a, uh, embellishments here. Um, I thought would be pretty, but trying to keep it simple. Now the pages inside are pretty much all the gold tone colors and browns. Um, some of the illustrations in here, like this one, is one that I actually painted and reproduced on on papers. Um, so these are, um, these particular um, drawings are illustrations of my own, um, my own paintings, watercolor paintings. I put some lace in it, but not overly, just one piece of lace per signature, just so that you knew uh, where the signatures started and ended. Um, pretty much, uh, a lot of a lot of journaling space, uh, very very solid. You could even put a piece on top of here, add a piece, and then and and um, journal over it. Or you can use it as is and just write over it with a heavier uh, marker. Uh, there are still some tuck spots that you can you can add whatever you like to them. Um, and with every um, journal, I usually add a little packet of something that you can use it within your journal. But this is pretty much what it looks like. Um, the, some of these papers are from my stash, uh, coffee filters and uh, doilies. This particular paper was actually uh, shelf paper. Um, it was scented like a lemongrass. It's, since then, lost most of its aroma, but um, it is, um, it's a pretty print. Some book pages. This was from a travel log, uh, another journal that I, um, I produced and uh, had some pages left. I thought it might be interesting. This is um, from a napkin covered book paper. And other uh, papers like this are some of my eco dyed paper, but it's reproduced, so it's um, been printed. Some there's a bag, a parchment bag, which I embossed, um, added a little paper clip to, and some journaling papers in there. This is the center of the uh, first signature, my heartstrings. That's where I've uh, stitched and, and tied 
the signature together. So as I said, a lot of these papers are pretty much solid, so that it gives you a lot of space um, to journal. Because that's the second section of the the second um, signature. Music paper. And some cardstock, a few pieces of cardstock from books, lacy type papers. This was coffee dyed, um, actually, with a with a um, a stencil on top. It was baked with a stencil on top. This is the center of the second signature has some suggestions on what to uh, what to journal about. So these are um, basically very journal um, geared more for journaling and not for um, being so embellished. I do have a tendency to over embellish at times but um, this particular one was very difficult for me, I have to say, because I did not embellish it as much as I kept wanting to. So, um, tuck spots. This was another one of my drawings and paintings. So a lot of them have some of um, this. Each signature has a similar pattern of papers. Um, just to make it kind of cohesive. Typing paper, typing um, book, an old typing book. I remember when I was in high school learning how to type. What was it? A S D F J K L semi. We kept typing that over and over and over again until we knew the um, the pattern of keys that were on the on the typewriter itself. Here's some of the exercises. pages but more overall it's pretty much solid so it gives you a chance to put your own ideas in there um, I will include a, a bag of ephemera which you can also add to Some of this paper, like this one here, is from Tsunami Rose. She has some beautiful papers. If you want to go to her um, Etsy shop, she has some great, great papers. So that's the first book, A Will and a Way. The other one I found was from A Log Cabin to White House. It's, it was a great book. The, the back wasn't in so great a shape, so I covered it. Um, it did look nicely worn here, but it's still in a good sturdy condition. Um, and I did cover the inside, so and you'll see. I used a tie clasp 
to to close it so I thought that might be an interesting thing is it has a more of a masculine style to it so and I did this one because of the title from log cabin to white house not necessarily that I was Abe Lincoln's time but it just made me think of um, good old Abe Lincoln um, so I kind of did it with that style it's a little more, more masculine um, I put a little wind key as you can see it has a pocket with some old old checks journaling cards I found a book at um, a local library sale that had letters old letters um, from different presidents and um, and different generals and uh, like in Washington's Washington's um, age that were pretty interesting so I used them I photocopied them for papers um, and it uh, they were from old old letters handwritten uh, did collages um, I used also um, a writing feather I don't know what they used to quill I guess they used to call them um, actually I put it on the back here this is the actual feather put a little bow on it but these pages are, are a little more on the um, older this is actually coffee dyed ledger papers some old vellum pockets um, and inserts that I put in some eco dye papers that I have done which are um, photocopied there's that quilt pen again I use the background of a letter some paper bag the old book pages from it says Elizabeth Barrett Browning 1806 and this is this book is actually from the early 1900s the inside pages were pretty beat uh, just from age I added a few pockets with some journaling cards and this one this particular one the pages are stitched together however it's they're all the signatures are being held by elastics so you can take them out if you'd like to do your journaling but the second half is pretty much the same of course because it's the other side of the papers um, this is a nice um, dipped dyed paper that they used to make years ago um, I had purchased it from actually when I went to um, Williamsburg in Virginia um, I had purchased a large sheet of this paper another one of the parchment and part of the letter one of the letters is the cover of the second signature suitcases more letters it's a collage of letters music paper another parchment it's almost like a glassine bag but it doesn't have that waxy finish it's more like I don't know more like vellum rather than than glassine this is the center of the second signature it has pockets So has a map in the background, an old map. 
I believe it was an old map of what's this Delaware River. And the third signature. In the center. And some of these pages flip out and it gives you more journaling room. Oop, there goes my tablet. This was another one of those which was really hard for me because I kept wanting to embellish the pages more, but I kept holding myself back. And the next signature. So if there are any historical buffs out there, um, this would be an ideal gift for somebody who really loves history, um, some of the old history. Lots of journaling room. And that is it. So these will be available. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day.